Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory More Death's Door tonight. Last time we beat the shit up out of a frog who happened to be an asshole. And we got a big old fuck off lightning hammer. Uh, got a bomb spell, improved our fire and bomb spells. It looks like we're almost 50% of the way through, at least according to that menu. Um, yeah, so a lot of progress made. Um, we've got one more big soul to go, right? One more giant soul, um, supposedly. And then we can just run around and, and search for shit, I guess. Um, where did we end up with here? Oh, right, because we were looking for... We were looking for stuff. Um, at the end of last time. We were just wandering around a bit. Uh, okay, I guess we can go to the last region, right? Um, we may have accidentally stumbled across that last time as well, but I don't remember exactly where it was. I guess we'll just kind of walk around until we find it. Um, can we get down there from here? I don't think we can. Oh, that's that's a that's a little shiny thing, isn't it? Hell yeah, we got a little, little shiny pot. Some incense. Smells very strong. Okay, cool. All right, does that count as a shiny thing, or does that count? Yeah, okay, good. One, two, three. Yeah, we've well, got lots of shiny things we can find yet. Um, but we do have seven out of the what appears to be twenty-four. So yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, we gotta find um, where the last giant soul is uh, located, though. I have a feeling. Um, our dude up here will tell us, right? I'll be like, oh, congrats, you got the frog, and now we'll go get this guy. Uh-huh, 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 ba da ba da ba da ba mm-hmm, uh-huh. Tell me? Head west. Okay. Do we know which direction west is? I would guess up and to the left, right? Because that's kind of the, uh... That was kind of the, uh, the angle that we were, we were seeing that stuff from. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go this way because I wanna stop by uh, Stead Home real quick before we leave. Um, we already do this one, I think, right? Let's let's see, let's see. Honk. Because I think this just led us over to um, yeah, over to here, right? Which we've already done, so that was worthless, but hey. Worth a try. And then that switch, I believe, is just for this elevator, so we're good there. Um, let's see if Stedhone has anything to say to us now that we've murdered two of the giant soul things. Oh, we got it, this big hammer, so can we... Uh... I suppose it doesn't matter, huh? Keep it busy. I was nice to have something to focus on, seeing the dead, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't nothing there, and we can't get in there because we need six weird things that we don't have any of, presumably. Um, we can't get into here because we got nothing to do it with, right? Alright. Somehow, we can probably get over there eventually, right? Guardian of the door, preserver of order, and home to stray souls. Yeah, right. Okay, we can't do anything with that. Alright, well, let's head off to the, uh, to the west, I suppose, and see what we can see. Ah, this is a flame torch thing now, yeah, okay. Stranded sailor, that seems correct, right? Uh, alright. Okay, good. Good. Seems good. Uh, oh, there was also this, which is like, ah, oh, there's a twin. Hidden secret lies within. Uh, cool. What does that mean? Who knows? Alright, I definitely have this area over here. I wonder if we could have come over here um, right after facing the witch anyways, because we had the, now we've got the fire. <sighs> All right. Okay. Yep. So there's the uh, there's the path off to the actual progression area, which we don't want to do just yet, right? Let's see if we can get to that space up there. Although I doubt it, because we don't have our little hookshot thing just yet. But we'll try our best. We do have bombs, though. Bonk. 
don't like this fucker. Oh. beat him. We got 50 soul juices and we beat him. Alright, we could have probably done an upgrade before we embarked on this little journey here too, but Ah, well, first door we get going back to the opening area is where we'll do it, I guess. Okay, nothing special here so far. Did we... Oh, we actually got up to here. Nice. Alright. Cool, this will give us, uh, looks like a pink gem, so one more closer to another health. Oh, magic. Magic is pink, right. Green is the health one. Okay, uh, I guess that was worth it, huh? Just a shame there wasn't more to that. Yeah, because they just gave me this big fight arena and faced one dude and got a magic shard thing for it. Alright, well, that'll have to do, I guess. It's onward and upward. type stuff that uh, presumably we're going to get that ability in this area somewhere, right? So, shouldn't be too far off. Yeah, I see a shiny thing up there. But we won't be able to get it until we get the hookshot ability anyway, so... Okay, well, we'll be back. We'll be back. Is this a... Uh, hmm. That's weird. Big, big ass green torch thing. Alright. Yeah, a little thing that we can't get to yet either. I'm guessing they're going to give me this in short order, since there seems to be a lot to do with it that we can't quite do. Oh, hey, it's a uh, pothead. Jefferson's Delicious Soup. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, it's down there. <laughs> wow, he's got a camp all set up here and everything. He must come here often. Alright, we've got piers and things to get over to. Oh, I see a little, little shiny thing over there, too. It looks like there might be a path through these rocks. Right? Hey, Cave, how you doing? Good to see you. Right through here, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's not wasn't very hidden at all, was it? Okay, what do we get for a trouble? An adventure journal. Can we, uh, read it? Or is it just gonna be like, ah, oh, you found a thing. <laughs> Later chapters talk, just talk a lot about the writer's friendship with the squid. Very good, then. Very good. I suppose that's as good an adventure journal as any. Alright, we can't get that one without the last ability. We know of at least two more shiny things we can get on the way back through this area. Or that third shiny thing just kind of hanging out over here. Oh, Grunt's old mask, right. Right, because we, we saved him from the prison. He's like, oh, you're cool now, man. Well, far and wide, see many things rolled outside. Very beautiful. It is, isn't it? It's quite beautiful. <clears throat> oh, that lived, that all got one. Cool, and this will be a doorway back to the kind of hub area, right? Which means we can do a little upgrading. So we got 1200 or so soul juices, right? Yeah. That should be good for something, right? Oh, and then there's a the little bomb thing down here, too. Did we already. I think we already did this part down here. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, cool. We get another shiny thing. 
surveillance device. It looks like a fucking phonograph to me, but whatever. In the one of a recent seismic event has sent up a manager in a frenzy in order to scrub all mentions of it from records and close all active assignments in the region. All troopers are being cut off from commission in their home. I'm gonna try and make my way to the city to see if I can help them. Make it back in one piece, update my logs, indicate what I found. <laughs> no more entries, go figure. Alright, so he didn't make it back. Well, that's alright, we get his uh, weird phonograph thing and some soldiers, so... I'm not a complete loss. Hmm, a collection of shiny things is growing, though. That's good. Alright, we got 12 hundo. Uh... Damn, we're gonna be just a little bit shy of getting two of them. But I feel like we've been doing good without up and magic at all, so, uh... We're pretty close to getting, like, a really baseline magic up. So let's do dexterity. And then... A little bit we'll come back and get magic or something. I guess that's a little faster. Alright, Thor means this one, right? All right, we're gonna stop in and, and see what Jefferson's all about here. We're told he's got soup. All right, good, good, good talk. <laughs> Betty, huh? Never in love again. Oh uh, yeah. All right, okay, buddy. I'll leave you to it. That well, this is Jefferson. Greetings, fellow biped. Yeah, he certainly looks like he's a biped. A humble bartender and seafood enthusiast. Can hands prepare you a delicious meal? Uh, sure. You know, I'm kind of hungry. I could do with the meal. One delicious meal coming right up. Multi-digited mammal hands. <laughs> uh, okay. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> A little song. Secret lies submerged beneath the moat in the estate of the Urn Witch. It will require bringing an open flame to the East Gardens. Okay. Powerful Witch's house lies a secret accessible from the west side. To find it, you must look for openings in the hedge. A lot going on in the Witch's basement even before you reach the inner furnace. Stray bull carriage may grant you. Jesus. Well, he's just spilling all the goods here. Ah. <laughs> All right, cool, I guess. Nah, that's all right, we don't need another meal. All right, so you did tell us about a couple secret secrets, it sounds like, so, you know. We'll, uh, we'll come back to him as the mood strikes, and if we forget the hints he just gave us, right? Which we almost certainly will forget. But onward, onward to the adventure at hand. So we have the mountain tops, we have Castle Lockstone, that's probably exactly where we need to go. So we're gonna go the opposite direction and find our path blocked. Very good. Good, good adventure. That would have been a good place for Secrety Secret 2 right behind here. Ah, oh, well. Hmm, who will be this? Barb the Bard. Hello there, fellow traveler. Wait, didn't we find this person at the uh, forest village? Monster. Can you believe it? I can believe it. I fell outside the stranger and said he lost his love to the beast. Uh huh. See, it's got to be one heck of an epic ballad. Yeah, yeah. Smash up the blasted rocks. Gee, I think I could help with that. I mean, you could just climb over them. They're like. You know, chest high for you. But hey, whatever. Ah, I see. It's gonna be a regrowing crystal, I would guess. Yeah, good guess. Bonk. There, path's open. Have at it. <laughs> Tag along. Okay, I mean, sure, but you know, keep your distance. I travel alone.
Yeah, see, look at that. Look at there. It's a big fuck off sword over there. I want that. But we can't get it without the, uh, the fourth ability thing, so. That shall be later, I guess. Unless we can find some way down there right now. Wouldn't say no to that. Anything back here? No, really? Wow, they really gotta up their secrety secret game here. It's so many places for so many secrets. Oh, this feels like progression over here. Maybe we don't want to climb up here just yet. Start over here. Ah, oh, yeah, here's a life seed. What we got over here. It's definitely something behind here, right? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Got some soul juice down that away. Anything in here? No. Oh, and then there's a thing there. Which who knows where that's gonna lead? We can find out real quick, like. Right over here. Is this gonna be our last magic shard thing? It is. Excellent. We headed in with what? Five magic or six? Is it gonna give us two magics? Two magics would be nice. Probably only gonna be, gonna be one though. Knowing how these games work, right? Yeah. That's, that's too bad. But hey, having an extra magic is pretty neat. Thanks, weird crow shrine thing. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? See ya. Did this by chance lead us to this big fuck off sword too? Ah, oh, no, it didn't. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just one of the other ones. Nuts. That would have been fun. Yeah, because it rotates there. All right, that's how we got it here to begin with, right? Okay, okay. Well, and then the next little doorway we find, we can go back and uh, get a magic upgraded again. So that one's real cheap since we haven't done that one yet. Uh, okay, so now I guess we're back on the actual path to, to criticality here, right? So we did the whole side business there. Got ourselves a completed magic shard. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll definitely make sure to revisit the other two major areas once we get our hookshot thing, too. There was multiple places we could use it. We just did not have the thing for at the time. Alright, head into the castle. We did it! We hit the four switches and lit up the thing. Good, good job. It's a tough puzzle. Tough puzzle. Um, except they didn't open the gate, which is kind of weird, but all right. Oh, and now we can pull this and open the gate. <laughs> nice. All right, perfect. Well, that gives us another doorway back. That's well timed. get a magic upgrade because we are 170 short for the well actually no because each one is going to be a thousand at least now so magic is the only one we can afford now fortunate but at this point probably worth balancing out a bit so bonk seems to be a little faster charging so that's good
Huh, Barb Bard again. <laughs> Mind me taking along, you mean after I blew up those rocks and opened the gate for you? Yeah, sure, I guess it's fine. <laughs> I mean you. Okay, at least you're being honest about it. Hang around here and work on the lyrics for our next banging tune. Until I open the path forward, essentially, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is very Ocarina of Time forest ass temple right here. We'll probably elevate her down into the depths after we get four things in the four corners of the, of the area, right? <sighs> Alright, let's take a look around here. Let's start. Let's start over here. Well, I guess we're committed. Oh, we can just easily cross back, huh? Uh, this looks a little curious, though. This little hangy bit here. Hmm, okay. Oh, that's probably just decoration. Huh, oh, I see. Yeah, I see. I see. Very simple puzzly puzzle. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, uh, looks like that just leads to uh, life seed. Or maybe it doesn't at all because I can't open that gate. Alright, very good then. Asking us to think too terribly hard about these puzzles just yet. Oh, uh oh, excuse me. Bonk. That's right, I can't uh, damage myself with my own bombs anymore, right? That was the uh, spell upgrade we got last time. So we are safe regardless. So cold. I can relate. It's kind of chilly, isn't it? Okay. Good job. Oh wait, I suppose we should uh, refill health. Huh? All right, so that was that path over here. Let's go over here. There's gonna be three more of them, right? Three more crow souls. Lots of soldiers just hanging out in the open here. We'll be able to get one of them, but not that other one. Not that one until we get the little hook shotty bit. Oh, where the hell is this one going? Hmm. Where the hell is this one going? <laughs> uh, okay. Huh. Ah, I see. This is gonna be the, the little thing behind the thing, right? Yeah, nice. Perfect. We can get the uh, little shiny bit here, too. Ancient Crown. Cool. Cool, cool. 
Alright, well, was, when we saw the cutscene for the first Crow Soul going into that, I was like, hmm, how we get over there, but... It seems we have accidentally done it good. Now we gotta do it again and get that soul juice over there. That's fine. this way once we do have the shot bit. Oh! Bzz. I mean, hell, I can just use this, right? us here, but uh, I'd really prefer to get up there somehow. But it appears we cannot. There's just no way to climb up over there. Uh, are we supposed to be able to drop down behind that thing? I guess. Huh? Hmm. Okay, well we can't go any further this way. then, I guess. Oh, wait. That just led us back to the big soul door thing. Next one. Okay. There's a door there, so that's good. Let's get this other key. Can we even get this other key first? No, we can't, because we don't have the hookshot bit. But we can at least go down in that, uh, that grate there. Which will probably lead us over there, right? Let's actually follow this over. I know there was a lever through this passageway here. We'll come back. Perfect, good. Glad we did that first. Free a little bit of soul juice there. Dose. We find some of those really, really difficult boss fights tonight. Yeah, well, there's going to be at least two more, right? Because we have yet to upgrade our normal uh, arrow spell, and then our hookshot thing will probably have an upgrade to it as well at some point. Just a matter of finding where the heck those things are. I have a feeling the bow and arrow one is in the very, very first area somewhere. It's we just were not uh, aware of to be looking around for at the time. So once we're finished here, we've got places to go. Okay. Lit 
one thing, right? There's three more to light. Oh, we might have missed uh, lighting one of those somewhere else, though. Oh, hey, it's um, what's his nuts? Guardian of Doors or whatever. Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a deal with that. Inestimable in the region, or the reign, absolute, cold ruler, concerned with law and order, consolidate power, and go on to build the foundation of the Hall of Doors. Cool. Can we, uh, can we talk to his spirit here? Yeah, there we go. I think it would look familiar. Lords of Doors, Lord Lockstone. Not only a mistake of the universe, I'd say. An apt description of all life, an anomaly, a mistake of the universe, I guess. It's a kind of a pessimistic view of it, but yeah, not wrong. Alright, cool. Good, good chat, spirit of Lord Lockstone. Uh, can you give me anything for that? No? Okay. See ya. Ah, uh, yeah, we still can't do anything here, either. Okay. that thing over there which uh you know, honestly i'm gonna skip that for now even though we've got the key for the door and key for that door I prefer to go over here to the one we just unlocked because the sooner we get the thing which lets us cross the gaps the better it's gonna be Bzz. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can't roll through that. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Come on, I've been able to roll through every other attack, but lasers are a no-go, apparently. Mm. Good to know. Good to know. in this area. Who's this? Lord Theodore. Ah, I get it. It's a door pun. <laughs> First successor in a lineage of lords. Transition to power was smooth in their reign egalitarian. Their fair nature enforcing better working conditions for reapers. Alright. What a bro. Ah, the third cross hole. I mean, the Lord plans to live forever. It doesn't feel fair to me, huh? Yeah. Life isn't fair, is it? Alright, I have a feeling we missed uh, lighting a torch in one of the other areas, though, so we're gonna have to take a, a real quick trip back. So, what is this? Can we, um, can we light this on fire? Uh, can we get over there? 
seem like there is a thing to get over there, huh? I'm kind of curious if we can light that from all the way over here. Do we get it a can we get a sharp enough angle on it? Maybe. Not that it would be uh, terribly helpful at this point, I guess. I don't think we got it that time. Ooh. All right. So what was the deal with this then? Can we not? Looks like there's a path on that other side, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's wait to wait for the wisdom of Lord What's His Nuts here. I already forgot his name. Ah, right, so this is the path that we had before. Uh, oh, now we can't do anything with it anyways, because there's literally nothing else here. I see, I see. Okay, uh... This is the only other door we can go through down here, right? Is that, or is this my remembering the wrong area? This is the wrong area. Okay. Hum. All right. Ah, uh, I see. You're gonna need the hook shot first to go up there, pull that lever to get that ladder, etc., etc. So I gotta go back and find wherever that locked door was. Yep, it was over here. Uh, no, it wasn't, because we can get up there, but we can't do anything else with this, right? And there wasn't another light up thing, right? Yeah, because this was the first soul that we got, but there wasn't a light up torch over here. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Like it was whatever door. No, it wasn't that one. I think maybe it was over here then. No, because this was that. Uh, oh yeah, no, no, no. Here it was here. I'm an idiot. self-contained fight. This should be soul number four, though, then, huh? So, wow. Okay, so that's a quick four souls without lighting all the things to get into the inner area. Oh, but right, so this is gonna pop us back to the Hall of Doors with another gold mimic thing, and then we'll get the last skill out of that, right? That's how this has been going. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Well, that's good. That's good. Very predictable. Then we'll need to come back here to get that key. Do a few other things. it out here. You know, you'd think after getting chomped by two of these, we would know better <laughs> and, and step back for a hot second, but I guess not.
That's right. All it means is we're in for a good fight. Which is good and fun. Oh, well. Okay, he's also got a big fuck off hammer. Very good. Uh, okay, excuse me. Hey, all right. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jackass. Eh, whatever, we didn't need all that help, it's fine. me to pause pause please okay. <laughs> mm. oh okay excuse me <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me. Whoa, excuse me, buddy. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Those bombs really do do a lot of damage. Do like it. Now give me my hook shot, damn it.
<laughs> there we go. They literally call it a hookshot. Nice. Okay. Very good. Except I got no juice with which to use it, so hopefully they remedy that. I mean... Oh, it doesn't use juice. Very good. That's actually kind of nice for as much of a utility as it is, instead of being like an attack weapon. Now, what can it all hook into? Not stone, how about wood? It hooks into the, the uh, light lampposts there. Along with legacy doors, it's seriously impeded my investigation of the disappearance of the Reapers in the redacted region. Ah, that redacted region. The whole process of transferring to the new system has been a nightmare. Found of so many workers are active in the region, blah, 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 blah. No worry, still is the active reaping mission in the area. is also purged from the system. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. Well, several of them, in fact. Recipe for disaster. I all know what happens. <laughs> Do we, though? Do we all know what happens? Like, they get all big and butt-ass ugly, but... Besides that... So, like, can we... We can't just hook into random-ass shit. It's gotta be... Gotta be specific objects to get to that, I guess, huh? Oh, I see. So now we're back at the very beginning area. to get off the floor. <laughs> I get it, because we're all crows. That's right. That's funny. Okay, uh, do we have enough soul juice for a thing? We don't. We need at least eight hundo for a magic cup. That's a big old nope. But hey, now we've got all of our things. All of our spells, supposedly. So now we can do everything, maybe. Let's go do everything. Get up there. Oh, that counts as a thing, huh? That's kind of neat. So we can hook into switches. Feels like a pretty good hookshot action, though. It's very, very crisp and clean. I like it. Um, actually, hold on a second. There was a seed behind this grate. I figured there was going to be a switch over here that we could uh, use to open it up. Oh, maybe it's a path back from some other area, though. Okay, right, 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 right. Uh, okay, yep, here's another thing to ding for this, right? So, whoosh! And we get to learn about... Let's see, we've had, what? Lockstone, Theodore... What other, uh... Door puns can we have for this guy? Open gates. Okay, and then the gate opens, so alright, that's very, very appropriate. Third in lineage of the Lord, the third will study and without hindrance. Skilled at delegation, spent many other years expanding their knowledge while traveling the vastness of space. That sounds like a pretty sweet gig. <sighs> Presence here is quite a conundrum. It indicates the course of events which started with the formation of Death's Doors led the universe to the brink of great peril. Of course. Alright, it's also indicative of those actions correcting themselves. It's merely the universe experiencing itself. It's pretty deep. 
universe seeks balance in all things. We as parts of it are all acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path. Sense victory in my future. Hooray. I do like a good victory. Oh, I just dropped this back down here. Boo! <laughs> uh, okay, I guess, but, um... It's only two of the four things that we needed to have lit up, so... Where'd we go, I suppose. Alright, so what else can we all... Oopsie. What else can we all hook shot here? Not those grates. That's the thing. Some things. Yeah. Can we hook shot the torches? Doesn't look like it. Okay, now let's just start off to the north. Yeah, we're gonna need to go here anyways, right? that free soul juice. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think there's anything else beyond here, right? Um, no, that just led to that. We got one of the keys there. Yeah. Alright, we need to get back up to that path with the, uh, lever thing, so I think right here we'll have to do. Oh, right, since we can get that extra key there. Which presumably is not extra, but actually required. too low. But, that just means we do this again, right? Go like... Actually, we just go like that. No, that's still too low. Uh, so then we go... Bonk! Now we're high enough to get to that thing, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, easy peasy. Alright. Now we've got the key for that door already, which is good. We don't want to go there just yet. Alright, who's this one going to be? Deadbolt. <laughs> uh, that one's pretty good. I like that one. Dark but produced efficiency among reapers. Bearing really concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. That seems like good research to have, right? That'll be torch number three, yeah? It's not easy. The balance of the universe, my duty, and mine alone. Lord who created me had grand delusions about fate and purpose. <clears throat> fate did not bind me to the death store. Duty did. Oh. <laughs> duty. I thought I could take on the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the blah 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 blah. I find time finally drew to a close. My successor paid no heed to my teachings. Fear the rain may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. Bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. 
But hey, interesting to hear a bunch of weird perspectives. Okay, but I don't want to... Don't want to go to progress just yet, because we got that, uh... Oh, we may not have a choice, actually. Shit. Because <laughs> I don't think I can get back there. Boo. Alright, well, I'll we'll have to go back that way anyways. This should probably just pop me back down to... Oh. Hell, are we here? Oh, this is probably the opposite side of the other door. Alright. That's pretty good, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sick! We can use the hookshot to grapple over to enemies. I like that. Alright, I can sit down here. Some kind of signed contract? <laughs> How exciting! Very exciting. Alright, that's really all that was in here? Seems weird to have an elevated bit of the room and have the thing on the bottom shelf. Or even the shortest of crows can reach it, but... Okay, well, who might argue, I guess? Okay, so there's one area we wanted to get to first, right? One, I wanted to see how to get back to uh, that doorway behind the cage that had one of the life seeds. And then there was another area maybe across the way. So hold up. Let's go back here. Head upward if we can. We can't from here. Okay, try to go around to the left. Alright, very good. Let's see if memory serves. This should let me... Here. Here. Did we never go around this way? Oh yeah, we did. Oh, right, because we couldn't get across because we didn't have the hookshot yet. Alright, good. I see. So this then should then lead us to Bonk right there. Good. Um, but how does one open these doors? Very curious. Alright, well, got the thing that we set out to get. Oh, right, there was that other dude's uh, grave that had a thing on the other side that we needed to get to as well, right? Um, which section of the area was it? I think it was maybe... Maybe straight north. No, because this one led to the, um... Okay, hold on a second. I think it was over here. So that one leads to the big soul door that we already went through. Uh, this might be the way here. Oh no, because this didn't have anything to it. It's just the key and then no other exits. Shit. Maybe it was around this way then? So I think that's for the last torches. It's on the other side of that dude's tombstone. Yeah, here we go. Uh, 
Oh, the path is there. Oh, I see. I probably have to go all the way the fuck around, don't I? Uh, yeah, okay, we gotta head back. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Not my fault, they followed me. Alright, so now we gotta get back up and around there. It's here, right? Yeah. We'll say I'd prefer to have a map. We could get access to that at some point, but these areas are unique looking enough that we've been able to traverse it without one. Which is nice. That's pretty nice. Um, did we go over and get that? I guess we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, I suppose we could have just climbed up out here, too. <laughs> Duh. Eh, too late. Yeah, we did this. But we couldn't pro- Oh, right, we didn't progress this way because it was a key door and we didn't want to go along the critical path. Right, right. I was like, dirt. Uh, now what though? Oh, um, um. Oof, okay. Uh, ooh, nice. Right, so this leads up here, and then there's the last image. Very good. Yep, and then that leads down, that'll be the boss fight, final giant soul, and then we get to the end game, presumably, right? Alright, who's this fucker? Oh. This is, that's right, this is three, Theodore. <laughs> Your life at the hands of our chaos. Was, they, were, they were sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. He shall increase the next in succession before their death and teach them the Lord's path. Here, Lord, before me, bound me to this system. All I could do is try and balance the world as fairly as he could. Hey, you did a bang-up job, I guess. I have to do right by living, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. It presents itself. Ending the cycle would be what is right for the universe. Is it, though? I mean, you're kind of dead, Lord Theodore, so, uh, I don't know if you've got the... If you're on the up and up here. Too short to come to that ultimate conclusion, I remain hopeful others will reach it on their own. Alright, well, yeah, it's Alt Springs Eternal and all that, I guess. Uh, alright, I think we're done here then, huh? Done all the things, we've got all the presumably all the visible soul juices, right? Got the shiny thing that was visible as well, and then the rest of the there's what three shiny things I think on the path to this place, so we'll go back and get those for sure. But for now, I guess it's boss time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't put one over on me there. Oh, that's interesting. That puts us back on the on an overworld bit. It's right at the top of the castle now, huh? Soldiers up there. (laughs) 
See ya. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting there to be another, another one over there somehow. Expecting that bridge to crumble behind me there. And there's so many good, like, little, sort of partially visible areas that could hide little secrety secrets in, but they don't do that. Guess they didn't want to jam too many secrety secrets in here, huh? Juice bit. Is that gonna matter? No. Still be a little bit short for 12 hundo. But I think all the ones I really care about are a thousand, right? This all well. I would like to increase my combat abilities. How about strength? Yeah. Pop the Chivo for spending a lot of soul juice. one somewhere. Oh. Get out of the stairs. Then. I think there's a Chivo for getting a bunch of them to follow you, but if we're gonna do that, we should probably just head back to the first area. There's a bunch over there. Uh, okay. We don't want to be up here anyways. We want to go back to, um, what's it called? Lodestone Castle or something. Lockstone. There we go. Look, it's a bunch of crows. Camp of the Free Crows. A group of free thinking individuals reject the ideas of the Lord of Tours. Want unnatural immortality. It must come at the cost of our lives. What's the point in living forever? It's to be as a slave. Eh, okay, that's a good point. Good point. Choose to live and die free. Go, climb ever higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain, and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Oh, that's very nice of them. 
I will take all of your life seeds. <laughs> this crow is called Raven. Foretold crow. Oh, we are a foretold crow, huh? Honor me, did you find any of our shrines on your journey? Yes, I did, in fact. Ten shrines yet to find. Okay, that works out to... Three more full bits of something. So probably two, probably get two health upgrades and two magic upgrades? That seems right. Ten shrines, though. Like, what? Seems like a lot of them. Corvus. Gate of knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things. Its soul exists in all things. Okay. It looks like a big ol' rock to me, but hey. What do I know? And our assignments means our life now ticks away. How are we? You're happier for it. It's the way it should be. Not death, new life cannot grow. I suppose that's correct. Sounds nice, anyways. Very deep, philosophical. Simple life here, foraging and living off the land. When he was first shed by the beast atop the mountain, his bedding. Uh, kind of gross, but alright, you do you. Nothing else around here you can give me, huh? I guess we did get the key and we got another life seed that'll have to do. And some free soldiers. Can't forget the free soldiers. Soldiers to be had. 140, right, because we blew a whole bunch uh, getting a strength boost. So we have the Frozen Canyon. Exercise caution. Thanks. Oh, I see. They were the ones putting up all these helpful pointy signs, I guess. Who's first though, huh? You secret crow society? Who knew? They have so many great stories. It's so much inspiration. More than five. Yeah, good good for you, I guess. So ready to hunt down the mountain beast, I'll be right behind you at a safe distance. <laughs> Very good. Very pragmatic. I can uh, I can respect that. Beast Slayer be the old watchtower. So I don't wanna go there yet, do I? Probably not. I wanna go in the weird frozen canyon thing that says exercise caution. That sounds like a fun romp. Hmm. No, don't tell me there's gonna be ice physics. Yep, there sure is. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, well, whatever. It's fine, I'm sure. Oh, good. Ice physics and timing puzzles. Perfect. Ah. ah! I bet I can get that from this angle, though. Alright. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck you, Ice Physics. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oops, except I should probably do that in the correct order, huh? Oh, hey, that almost was. So, uh... Which one was which, though? Okay, that's the bottom one, that's good. There's that one, which is good. There we go, just like that. Oh, really, it's just it to get down over here? Okay, fair enough, I guess. Uh, 
think I see. Uh, yeah, I do see. It's supposed. We have a sharp enough angle on this one to get back to it. Probably not, huh? No, that rock's gonna block us. And get rock blocked. That's right, we can just kind of go like bonk and then move our butts. Real quick, like. <laughs> oh, hey, this is gonna be one of the, um, the health ones. I think we still need an extra one to get a expando health, though, don't we? All right, so there was one of the ten that was remaining, right? So it was worth a trip over here first. Yeah, crosscode was not great at judging heights sometimes, was it? But hey, that's uh, that's kind of the deal with isometric. It's um, you gotta sacrifice a few things for other things, right? So okay, that was worth it. Worth a little tiny side trip. Life seeds. We got five life seeds. I know there's a Chivo for planting all of those, but I think we missed a couple in previous areas already. <sighs> but alright, up we go to fight the beast or whatever. That would have been a good spot for our secret secret, too. fairly linear path. Most of these boss approaches have been fairly linear. Like you can't really get off the off the paths too severely, which, you know, I can kind of appreciate. One of the stronger archers. <laughs> Death. Oh, cool. It pops me back here, even though I didn't actually go through that door. Good. That's handy. Second, those look like torches over there. Can I light those? I can. I wonder if that does anything. All right, let's have a quick backtrack here. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, I got a little bit too high there. It stinks. Might have to dip into this area one more time to see if lighting all of these uh, things actually does something. Uh, but it goes out right away, never mind. It's probably nothing then. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat regardless, though, I guess. Those are lit up then. drop down here right away. Eh, too late. <laughs> too fucking late, unless I go back around, I guess. Huh? Which, uh, oh yeah, yeah, just leads me back here. Neat. This was actually the critical path. It was not. It was, in fact, nothing. <laughs> Great. Hmm. Worth a go of things, at the very least. Uh, I did do that one, right? Yep. Yep. It sure is rough up here. I'm just howling through your pipes. A bit of bad weather's never deterred you. <laughs> Especially with uh, when I'm the one doing all the work. Oh. Oh, wait. There's something down back behind there. They're gonna pull that on me. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can't get down back behind there. Unless. Can I drop down from above? Sure looks like I can. That's what we're gonna do. Whoop! Bonk. Hell yeah, free soul juice. It's 
kind of hoping it was a path to another one of the little shrine bits, but uh, no such luck. Am I gonna have enough time for this? Nope. Alright. Oh, it didn't kick me back too far. Let's see, unlock the other things, right? Alright, let us keep the soul juice we found. Um, yeah, how that didn't target that fucker, but all right. Hmm, see ya. <laughs> Do I still get the soul for that? Ah, uh, doesn't look like I did. Stop zippy zapping here. Okay, good. Stop from attacking, I guess. Mm, see ya, <laughs> idiot. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, up 
what's that open there? Uh, so critical path. Okay, we can't go up that way, so we gotta go down here. It's probably another shortcut that opens up at some point, right? Quite a distance on it, but not accurate enough to actually hit him. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> That was a fun little battle arena. Multiple elevations, ice physics. Even the ice physics made it a little bit more fun, I'll admit. something about the moonlight thing that Steadholm was talking about real early on. Probably. <laughs> I know, right? It was it was kind of fun, though, fighting on the ice. Just get up a, a good bit of momentum, then shove a bomb, like, halfway across the arena, while still being on the way to where you wanted to go. I liked it. It's extremely rare where that works out, but it did that time. 
All right, how many soldiers do we got? 600, not enough. This is it, that's the beast. Really? What's the beast? Oh, that? Eh, I've seen bigger. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's like many, uh, many a different creature has tried to fight him, though. But we're gonna succeed. Oh, I bet he... <laughs> Alright. There. Yeah. Whoop, excuse me. Whoop, excuse me again. Oh, bonk. What bonk? Oh, excuse me. Oh. Well, there's phase one. That oh come on, that could not have been the entire fight. Get out of here. Get out of here, really? Come on. That really wasn't much of a fight. <laughs> That's a little disappointing, honestly. But all right, I guess we did it. I guess we done did it. Fur and untimely deaths. Ah, yes. The two things in short supply. We got 700 soldiers out of that, so that means, uh, that means we good. Did it. Now we got all three giant souls. So we're done with this area for now. We could still do the um, the initial area approach since we've got the hook shot now. Um, but I'm gonna go get another upgrade. Uh, are we gonna have enough for another strength upgrade? Because if that's only gonna be 12 hundo, hell yeah, I'm gonna buy the shit out of that. Fifteen hundo! Oh, come on. I went from a thousand to fifteen hundo, you jerk asses. Alright, I guess we'll wait. We'll save up for it. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well, that being the case, then let's head back to that initial area and kind of... Work it in reverse, I guess. Uh, here. <laughs> and we can listen to the song that we were promised, too. Right. Oh, well, what about this dude, though? you save my Betty? Yeah, sh save, yeah. For some value of save, I sure did. Hell yeah, let's hear this song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, okay. Yeah, great song. 
<laughs> yeah, that was a good song. No thanks. <laughs> uh, that's funny as hell. Alright, uh... So now, um... I think we want to maybe move backwards from here, right? This is where all the cool shit was. At least three shiny things. Oh, excuse me. Fifty soldiers for that. That's pretty good. Pretty good amount of soldiers. So we get a teddy bear. Pink covered teddy bear. So it'd be very cute if it wasn't so disgusting. <laughs> Aww. Ah well, had a fair fight for it, so whatever. So wait, let me right. Oh right, because that was the path over behind. Take us back, right? There's at least two more other shiny things we can grab. Oh, and that path that was blocked off for some reason. You know, I almost wonder. Ah. Can we hook shot through one of these waterfalls? Ah. Uh, sure seems like there would be a thing back there, right? Like that would be a, a pretty good secrety secret. But no, they didn't do it that this time either, huh? Hmm, unfortunate. Ah! There's a lever here, so that's probably controlling the gate. Yep. Is there not a shiny thing over here, too? I thought there was. It's not. Alright, what's behind here? Is this gonna be the, uh, the hookshot battle? Hell yeah, it is. Alright, let's roll. Ah, you little bitch. Yeah, well, guess what? I've still got projectiles to beat the shit out of you, so whatever. Give you that one for free, because why not? But okay, that's not, you know, not a terrible fight, honestly. Actually, really curious to see the upgrade we get out of this. Oh, 
Well. Strength upgrades paid off. Alright, what do you get? Now it does a powerful slash if you use your sword while being pulled towards the target. Cool. Uh, can I also do that with the big fuck off hammer? I'll have to try that. For example, here. Oh, sick! That was pretty big. I like it. Yeah, it's a shiny thing here. I think there was one more on the path back. Plus there was that big sword. Token of death, hell yeah. There's a big ass sword leaning up against one of the statues too, so we're gonna want that. And there was another magic thing there. Did we get that one already? We must have. Yeah, we must have, because it's all lit up and shit. Yeah, so I don't know if it was down... It wasn't down that area, right? Because that was the way to get... Actually up to the place where we needed to be. Actually, wait. Uh, this isn't. <laughs> this isn't where we want to be, anyways. This went back one area too far. I thought this looked vaguely familiar. As in, too early to be here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just need to move our butts a little further. That would have been the first shiny thing we saw, but we couldn't get. Death token. That one would have been one of the others. Oh, wait, no. That was to open the door there. Right, right, right. Okay. And the other one was across the way down there, so that's two. So the third one must have been a little bit further on. Ah, uh, right, it's down here, so we couldn't get across here. Yeah. Mm, yep, there's the big fuck off sword that I want. Weaknesses in the walls that the eye can't see. Neath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee. Oh, really? Oh, really? Hmm. I think I know exactly what that's referring to now, actually. Because if it's pretty much directly where we need it to be, it would be probably here. Well, maybe not, because uh, that just blew up in our face. Uh, okay, how do I get my, um, my juice back? There we go. That'll work. I figured that wall was just low enough for us to perch our butts on and shove a bomb across the way, right? Right here. Hmm. No? Hmm. 
That would have been a good place for it. It's beneath a wooden walkway. Oh, it could be this. It could be this right here, in fact. Literally beneath the walkway. Hey! There we are. Weaknesses in the walls that the eye can't see. Behind twin columns. Secret waits for thee. Okay. Behind twin columns, you say. Alright. Oh, oh, didn't notice that those were bustables. <laughs> Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, ha, ha. <laughs> Very good, though. Behind twin columns is what it said, right? Oh, well. I shouldn't be busting all of those up, so I've got some room to maneuver. Oh, you little shit. Okay, well, I don't really have much choice here now. Oh, except for the things that I could have used to get across there. But... Oh, another thing. Very good. And this will get me the health boost, too. Or one of two health boosts, rather. Hooray! Okay, but behind two columns. That looks like it's behind two columns, right? Columns, right? Looks like two columns to me. Aw. No. It's also two columns there. <laughs> okay. Something perhaps a bit more columnar. switches somewhere, huh? Okay, so we got the first one. You'd think they'd all be in this area, right? They wouldn't want to make me go too far for it. columns there. Hey, look at that. <laughs> okay. This is a wall where a giant face stares. A secret waits for thee. Giant face. I think I remember something like that. There's a little area with just a big giant head sitting there and nothing else kind of to it. Where the hell was that, though? Oh. No, not that. Uh, is it a bit further on? Might have been a bit further on. Oh no, it was over there. Yeah. 
Yep, look at that motherfucker. Uh, okay, I can get there from here. I figured they'd all be in the same kind of area, right? They probably wouldn't want me to transition areas to do all this stuff. It's in the wall beneath a gargoyle. Uh, hmm. Beneath a gargoyle, you say? That one might be a bit trickier. I don't remember seeing a gargoyle. Is that considered a gargoyle? It's stone, but it's not like a gargoyle-ish creature. Huh. Well, there's a gargoyle. <laughs> hey, we did it. Alright, let's go claim our big fuck-off sword. And did we get that third shiny thing? So we got the bear. We got the... The death token. I think there was another one that we missed on the way. Might be a little bit further along in the area, though. Give me that sword. Looks fancy. Found a great sword, clearly wielded by a very imposing figure. Well, guess what? We are the imposing ones now. Reaper's great sword. More damage. Greater range. Same swing time. Hell yeah. Give me that shit. Oh, that's sick as hell. charge look like oh, 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 oh yeah oh that is good i like it looking fucking sharp quite literally because it's a sword all right let's follow this uh let's work also work through the hookshot i think so yeah let's uh let's check it out gonna be cool, isn't it? Oh yeah, look at that shit. Thump. That's gonna be great. Hookshot into an enemy and fucking chonk. They're fucking toast. Love it. Alright, how much uh, soldiers do we got? We got enough soldiers for that last strength upgrade, too. So that's gonna be awesome. We'll be fully powered. Alright, I feel like there was a path along here that we needed the thingamading for, right? And it wasn't that, though, because we got back behind there without, without the thing. Yeah, that's just a normal path there. Oh, and that was that. See, I was wondering about this before. It's like, wow, this seems awfully plain. But hey, look at that. There was a thing behind it. We got the three shiny things that I had seen. Cause this goes back into the castle. I don't know that we want to be there just yet. No, probably not. Okay. Uh, where's the nearest door out of here then? Should be pretty close by, right? Ah, literally right there. Very good. Okay, good. So the only upgrade we don't have done is the one for our standard-ass bow and arrow. But I have a pretty good idea on where that's going to be. So we could go get that right away. But let's get that last strength. 15 hundo. Aw oh, yeah, get beef. Oh, that's going to tear some shit up. I love it. Alright, uh, let's go to the very first area now. Wouldn't have been that, right? Because it's Lost Cemetery. Grove of the Spirits, I think we'll have it in. Because this was the only place where we had... 
Well, not really. It's one of the only places where we had just the bow and arrow. Can I get these guys to follow me? Yeah. I think we need ten of them to follow us to pop that Chivo. Three. Four. Have to be a little bit slower though, because they will not follow me at a great distance. Hell yeah, there we go. They're just coming out the woodwork now. We're one short. Oh no, they're all gonna bunch up there. Can I get uh, you three to come with me? No? There might be one we missed in the main area then. Oh no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. It's alright. Come on, follow me again. <laughs> We had, what, nine of them, right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. The other one might have skied down the stairs here, right? Nine. Well, maybe we can't do it in this area. This feels like it would be the most appropriate area for it, though. Dang, I just thought I could pull that one off as, uh... Pedestal there. Three, six, yeah, that's nine of them. Dang, we just need one more. Looks like there's another area beyond over there. Did we, uh, go around far enough? Hmm. There's another stairway. Hmm. They don't follow me past this thing, do they? That's a shame. Hmm. Well, we'll have to try for that some other time then. Missing one. Okay, so it's not in the initial initial area then. <laughs> But I would expect the bow and arrow upgrade to not require any of the other abilities to get to. Oh! <laughs> or maybe it's so powerful that we need all of the others to get to it. Wouldn't that be a thing? Aha! I don't know life things. Oh, so now since we're at full strength, maybe we can kill Stedhone, right? Because he was like thinking, he was telling us, oh, you're too weak to hurt me or whatever, come back later or some bullshit like that, right? And there's also the matter of this door here, which we can't do anything about just yet. Uh, 
Then there's this. Um, can we? No, we are still. We're too high up to hit those. Where would they want me to be to hit those? I guess on that little area there, right? I don't know that we're going to be able to do that. I do want to get back down there, though. Oh, and then there's this thing. Oh, right, we can now get over there, right? Because we can get to that. It's a free soul juice. Before there. Uh, and this was one of the other fights, though, wasn't it? This was the, um, this might have been the fireball one. Yeah, because we probably need to light up one of those two up there. Or no, that was bombs. It's bombs because we had to blow it open. Okay. I'll just have a run around this area again, see what we can see. Summit. Okay, that leads to Death Store, right? That's definitely like end game shit, which we don't want yet. This might have been the fire one. Or maybe not. Oh wait, this was the, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, because we couldn't go any further here because we didn't have the hookshot yet. Do so now we can. We're farming soldiers, too, I guess, huh? First time we came through here, we had fire and bombs and the big fuck off hammer, which made it pretty easy to deal with. And now we've got all that plus uh, hook shot and fuck off sword, so, you know, it all works out. Right. 
Let's then that open there with the ladder. This is where we got caught since we couldn't do this in quick succession, right? There. Couldn't get an angle on that second one last time, as I recall. Oh, here! Here's the, uh... Here's the bow and arrow one. Okay, they really wanted me to have everything to get this far. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I hope that causes, like, really awesome fucking damage. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Very good. Oh, well. Ah. Ow, little bitch. Ah, uh, well. Oh, he's got the whole flame orbitals again, too. That stinks. Looks like he might have all of the other, uh... All the special moves of all the previous ones. So we got the platforms, the hookshot dillabops, and... Of range and damage output, apparently. <laughs> Eat shit, idiot. Beautiful. <clears throat> Alright, so is this gonna make the bow and arrow like an actually useful weapon again? Now charge your shot and cause more damage. Okay, yeah, that's kind of. Mm. <laughs> kind of disappointing compared to all the others, but uh, let's see what we got. Okay. We got it. That's the important bit, but kind of underwhelming. Alright, that's fine. We got all the upgrades now. That's fun and or cool. I was right in it being in this area, at the very least. Hmm. Okay, we can't hook onto ladders. Hook onto the door? Can't hook onto the door. I think there's anything else to be done in this area then. So we may as well just go up and, uh, Get ready to talk to our old dude that got us into this mess, right? Then we can call it a night, leave it for next time. Ha ha ha. 
I'm going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. This leads over to Stedhone's place. Oh, right! Stedhone. Uh, let's go see if we can slice him a little bit first. Maybe, now that we've got all the giant souls taken care of, he'll be like, alright, I'm ready to go. And I'll be like, okay, cool, dude. I'll, uh, I'll take care of you. Uh, do I get down there? <laughs> Alright, good old buddy Stedhone. Ready to go, buddy? No, still nothing, huh? Mm, nuts. Nuts and or gum. That was not enough to kill Stedhone. Can I hook into him and then do it? Nope. Unhookable. Bomb? Unaffected. Fancy new arrow? Nothing. Yeah, charge swing doesn't do it either. Ah, well. Because so I'm presuming that's his grave over here, right? Almost certainly his grave here. Or maybe that's the grave of the big bad, or maybe even the old crow goes in here, too. So many possibilities. None of which we're gonna know about this time, unfortunately. Alright, let's make our way over to old dude and, and call it a night. too close because I don't want to trigger the cutscene, so uh, let's cut it there. Alright, well that's good. We made lots of progress. We got lots of shiny things. We got the last weapon. Got our last spell upgrade too. So yeah, our desk is looking pretty crowded. So crowded that we've taken over the desk in front of our, our own. All the shit we've been collecting. Well that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Uh, CDT. Seems like it'll be the last go for Death's Door, since we are now almost firmly in endgame. Let's see, what percentage does it say we're at now, actually? 75, yep. Yeah, so we've been doing like a solid quarter a night, which is great. Very enjoyable, very good, consistent pacing. Quite excellent, quite excellent. But then we'll resume Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT with this. Uh, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT will be uh, Shmup Book Club. So, Pro Gear, or uh, Sprite Gunner STG, or G Darius. Uh, Friday we're off, Saturday we're off because holiday stuff. Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, it'll be grab, or not grab bag, long play. Lord. Uh, it'll be long play. And then next week is going to be a bit of a toss up. Um, it's probably going to be just a, a stream as the, uh, as, as the desire takes hold, since that'll be a vacation week for me, essentially. Um, but we'll, we'll see what we do next week. We won't be able to put a firm schedule together for it, I don't think, until it actually happens. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.